Look, uh, we need to talk. I've got a proposition that might be mutually advantageous. Come to my warehouse off the freeway. We'll discuss it. Uh, yes, come in, come in. It's uh, good to see you again. Uh, been a while. <laughs> yeah, I I've never been good at small talk. I don't have many friends. Uh, I do sometimes meet people online, and then I arrange to meet them out in the real world, and then I go there, but I just I hide, and I watch them, and I think, wow, now you are experiencing 1% of what I felt my entire childhood when I spoke to a girl. Wow. I've never told anyone that before. <laughs> Feels good to talk. <laughs> so, uh, <clears throat> I know you've been complaining, but you weren't ready. Now, maybe, just maybe you are ready to do real work. I mean, are you interested? Because if you are, I have a few things uh, coming down the wire soonish. If you want, I'll contact you. But don't let me down on this. I'm putting my neck on the line, and I like my neck. It's my best feature. Aside from my sparkling conversation. Be ready to move on this thing. If you want the work, you'll get a knock on your door any minute. Ah, yes, yes, this will uh, do very nicely. Very nice place you've got. Very uh, chic. 
Nothing like a bourgeois bank robber to remind me of how strange Los Santos has become. In my day, the psychos at least had the dignity to be psychotic. Nowadays, it's all about uh, home furnishings and going straight. All right, you ready? Because this is it. Well, it's, it's not it, but uh, it's something, it's something uh, very big. And it's not quite ready yet, but I wanted to uh, see how you're doing. What I've got is a Fleesa Bank franchise. And it's nothing too complicated. There's no buy-in. Normally, there would be a buy-in. You would put in money up front, we would arrange the job, and you would pull it off. But this time, I'll uh, cover the upfront costs. Call it the uh, price of getting a look at you. And there's no risk to you. Unless, of course, you count uh, getting locked up or shot. <laughs> so, you ready? What do you think? You uh, got questions, comments, concerns? All right. What are you waiting for? Let's go see this place. Take us there. Word of warning, we're on the job right now. So don't let the cops notice you. If they come after us, we call it off. So, my taciturn friends, I suppose you want to know how we're doing this. Well, fun you should ask. We're driving out to the bank, taking a look at it, picking up some equipment, and then heading back to make our plans. Not very complex at all. We're not going in, we're not poking it with a stick. We're just sitting back, Look, you see, uh, I like my scores like I like my dates. Across the street and unaware they're being watched. <laughs> all right, so why this bank over all the other banks in the state? Why does fortune favor this one? Hmm? Another good question. You're full of good questions. You're like a child whose parents think it's clever, or the IRS. Well, this bank's got some safety deposit boxes, and in one of those safety deposit boxes are some bonds being hidden from the tax man that no one's gonna report missing. All starting to uh, make sense. Security should be light, well, relatively light. Light if your daydreams are raids on the Union Depository. Quite heavy if your day job is turning over liquor stores and gas stations. And the bonds in the box will be worth more than a few rumpled notes from a till, so the minor escalation is worth it, if you can handle it. Plus, you know, the sea view. <laughs> Nothing like staring at the ocean while you contemplate money and power, and incarceration, and homicide. Yeah, all those weighty issues surrounding your first foray into serious armed robbery. I'm assuming you're kind of a cerebral crew, because otherwise this whole not-talking deal just kind of puts you on the spectrum, right? <laughs> okay, well, how about we just get there and see where we're at? There it is. Take a look. Drink it in. I've patched into their security feed on my cell. Take a look. Hmm, what are we looking at? Um, small joint. Not much security. Staff won't give a crap. <laughs> Especially about the deposit boxes. Customers will probably be thinking uh, how to turn this into a screenplay. <laughs> the boxes are in the back behind the safe door. We want box number 167. Yeah, it's right on the highway with good access. That works for you. you can get out quick, but it'll also work for the cops. Speed up their response time. Okay? Okay. Enough of this peeper crap. Let's go to the garment factory. Now, when you hit the bank, you're gonna need to hack into its security system. I've written a neat little program that'll do most of the work for you, but it's probably a good idea for you to familiarize yourselves with it. You, in the passenger seat, I've sent it to your phone. You take it for a dry run, keep your hands steady, and maybe the wet run won't be a disaster.
I'm calling Paige. She's my assistant. First she's gonna get us what we need, then she's gonna sell me in half. <laughs> <laughs> no? Didn't like that one? Uh, you don't make it easy. Paige, it's Lester. The place looked good. Nothing we weren't expecting. Can you get the intel together? Hard copies to go on a notice board. Yeah, plus all the equipment we spoke about. I'll be over to collect it with uh, those people. Yeah. Mm, charming as ever. Okay, see you soon. She's loading the hardware into the back of a truck. Tools for the job, things for you to wear. On a job, your attire will depend on the role you're performing. As a job gets more complicated, so will the uniforms. If you're likely to be seen by civilians, you'll be provided with a couple of masks. Then, when you go into the bank, you can choose one that uh, goes with your eyes. <laughs> and hey, there's the added bonus of none of your favorite comic convention outfits being linked to a major crime. <laughs> whoop de doo uh, where were we? Ah, masks. Paige, oh yeah, uh, we'll go over there, pick her up, and go back to your place to plan this thing. I can talk you through the planning board later. That might be helped by a visual aid. The rest is pretty self-explanatory. Listen to me, do what I say. Bullets go in here, come out there. And if you're ever caught, you keep your mouth shut. <laughs> I couldn't resist. Hey, passenger seat. Did you get into their network? There she is. You leave my car here, take the truck. Ugh, I should be using my cane. Nice to meet you. Now it's back to the apartment. Is it all there? I think so. You want to get out and check, go down the inventory, or are you happy sitting there making a perfect butt imprint in your easy wipe seat? I'll take your word for it. Thank you. It should all be there. The clothes, guns, headsets, hold-alls, masks, the drill, the files with all the photos and surveillance work. Hey, there's enough here to make us all look real suspicious. Nice little conspiracy to commit robbery charge waiting to happen. What, they're gonna charge us with thought crime? Not so much thought as everything but the deed crime. We'd be caught with our pants down and a hard-on out to here. Well, we're not getting caught. These are professionals. So I hear. The cheapest professionals money can buy. I like to think of it as investing in new talent. <laughs> and until you and me start playing low-rent Bonnie and Clyde, that's the way it's got to be. She didn't mean anything by that, by the way. Uh, she's just a little brusque. If they were offended, they would have said something. Okay, okay, okay. Now, Paige, we'll set up a board for you, won't you, Paige? <laughs> I'd let you do it if you could reach. I mean, I didn't see any milk crates for you to stand on. <laughs> mm hmm. The uh, most important thing to look for in an employee is respect. You can't get anything done without respect. <laughs> Where was I? Uh, oh, yes, yes, uh, the room. Uh, Paige is setting up this board on which you will plan your scores. You'll use it to uh, set out all the prep work you need to do, uh, select your crew, figure out how the take from a score should be split up. So you need a crew to take a score. But only one person can be in charge. Respect. Hmm? Isn't that right, Paige? Blow me. <laughs> All right, it's blow me. <clears throat> You're only gonna need uh, one thing for this, uh, for this job. It's a high-speed armored car. Now, instead of getting one legitimately and leaving a nice long paper trail to your front door, you're gonna be jacking one from a nasty Korean crew and leaving a nice long paper trail to their door instead. <laughs> this is good to go. Hey, here's your board. Good, good, good. And when you're ready to move on the car, go over it, study the plan, tick it off the list. You must be methodical. This isn't just a dumb crime. 
Oh, well, there, there is an element of that, huh? <laughs> oh. <laughs> and when you've got the car, we'll come back here and talk bank jobs. <laughs> bank jobs, bank jobs.
find a bulletproof car in the hands of anyone who doesn't have a healthy dose of paranoia, so be careful.
<laughs> your, uh, your first time. You know, the uh, first times, well, it's never easy. There won't exactly be uh, fireworks, you know? <laughs> it'll, be, uh, it'll be vaguely awkward and uh, disappointing, you know? You'll probably stick the wrong thing in the, the wrong part, and you'll finish too early, and, and you won't be able to, to make eye contact afterwards. But, uh, but new worlds will, will open up. <laughs> Something will have changed, you know? New uh, opportunities, uh, new risks. <laughs> And that's when you'll remember that old Uncle Lester was here for you, holding your hand, you know, guiding you through it. <laughs> and then you'll feel a little creeped out, but, but you're going to repress it, squash it down, and we'll never talk about it, okay? Okay? Mm. Okay. First time, Felisa! Woo! <laughs> it's a two-man score, right? One of you drives, keeps the heat off of you. The other goes into the bank, goes to the specific safety deposit box. Then you get out of there, you get in that fast armored car, and you get the hell out of that place. Then once you're clean, once you got no heat on you, you come see me, give me the box, and you get paid. Hmm? Okay. You know, uh, like I said, it is your first time, so, uh, don't expect too much. There are, um, wild, insane, mind-blowing orgies in your future. <laughs> orgies! <laughs> but, uh, <clears throat> you know, we all gotta start somewhere. <laughs> Good luck!
and start breaking into their system.
everything. Show it to me. Ooh, yes, it is the holiday season at the Crest Residence, and Daddy's out drinking. <laughs> Say, you passed. Uh, if that thing I talked about comes up, I'll call you in. In the meantime, if anyone comes to me, I'll mention you as a reliable pair of hands. Hey, for a first time, that wasn't bad, but don't get clingy. There's your FSA fine police a fox! <laughs> oh, you'll sleep well tonight. We all will. Enjoy the spoils while you can. I'll be back in touch if there's more work down the road.